Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And just as I pressed the record button, I spilt my drink onto the floor. Yay. And you may think, oh, it's, it's no big deal really, is it? Not for you, it's not your floor. Well, I've been cleaning my carpet lately. So I've been a bit more house proud and I want my carpet to look nice. Anyway, um, did I say only listen when you can safely close your eyes? <sighs> I literally literally just started doing a deep sleep whisper hypnosis recording I was sitting on the edge of my bed I was in the dark just on the off chance that Andre was in there somewhere so I didn't disturb him and wake him up but I actually thought he was in the living room but I was wrong and just after I started talking or whispering Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. And I don't really know why I was saying that. But uh, then I heard Andre running across the floor and doing a poo. So that was nice. So I thought, and then when he'd done that, he just lied. I, I knew I couldn't see him, but I know him so well. I know him so well. I know for a fact that it, it might have been a wee that he was doing. And he lied down on the floor. Not on the wee, he, he's very clean. Um, but he kind of, he was lying there staring at me. I know that for a fact. And I know that if I'd continued with the recording that jumped on me and started well just playing and stuff so I thought uh, I know what I'll do I'm just gonna I come into the living room put the light on like the big the bright light and I'll make a let me bore you to sleep because I haven't made one since the 29th of uh, August I think and it's now the 1st of September. So it's only been two days where I didn't do anything. But it's really showed in the stats. Like yesterday, I had about five people download stuff. That's not true at all, but just less than normal. So like 1,100 downloads yesterday. It's like, what? I don't know what happened. Am I losing my fan base? Am I losing my, my ability to bore people? So, um, before I continue, I would like to say thank you to all of you that listen to this and any of my other podcasts because a few days ago I reached or yesterday I think it was I reached the 400,000 download mark um, since November the 21st so it was just 9 months really just over 9 months so I'm looking forward I know it's you know it'd be nice to reach the half a million, but that's not that far away. You know, realistically, I'm not far away from being at the five hundred million, five hundred million, the five hundred thousand mark. Um. So I'm looking forward to the million. I mean, you know, I want to get to the half a million first. Um, which will be probably like in a month's time or something. 
so by the end of this month I should have half a million. But I, I'm look. I want to get this, the the million. Because I've never, never reached the million point in any of my projects. I've reached millions altogether with the various different things I've done: video channels, podcasts. Um, I've had over a million, million views on my videos on YouTube and MySpace and. Facebook, you know, all together over the years and um, podcasts I've had a few that reached over 200,000 downloads on SoundCloud and also had on Podomatic I had a couple that was over nearly 300,000 I think so yeah, I've, so I've had millions all together I've never had like a million of one thing, if that makes sense. Um, a million of one thing? No, Jason, that, that actually does not make sense. I just, I think it'd just be really groovy to be able to look at the stats for these, for my Spreaker podcasts, and just see a million. It's nice looking at 400,000, that's nice. Um, but it'd be nice looking at five hundred thousand and seven hundred thousand, you know. But I want to reach a million. Just, just like a little goal of mine. I wanted to reach a million by the end of the year. That was my goal at the beginning of the year. And. Possible to do that, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Um, I'll definitely reach September, October. What have we got? September, October, November, December. So that's four hundred thousand. So I'll definitely reach the eight hundred thousand mark by the end of December. 2019 but I don't know if like when we're going to get the extra 200,000 from so please download everything I've got just to get me help me get to the, the million mark no don't only download what you're going to listen to or what you like because otherwise it's it's false, isn't it? It's false stats. And all I'm doing is lying to myself then. So I don't gain anything by having... Um, it's not like financial gain or anything like that. But it just feels nice. Feels really nice. Feels really nice. It's um, <laughs> not that nice, but nice enough. And I'm playing with, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm playing with right now, what's in my hand, it's uh, a school, it's a, it's a dictionary, basically. And it's a school dictionary, which I didn't realise until just now. But then what's the difference between a school dictionary and a dictionary? The words don't change when you leave school, do they? Unless, yeah, no. So, this is one of the books I've got. So I've now got one, two, three, four books that I'm going to be dipping into for these boring recordings. And a dictionary is one. So, as well as boring you to sleep, I get to learn stuff. It's very boring though. That's the thing, even important stuff can be boring. It just it depends what format it's in. Maybe I can get baby names as well, or I'll tell you what I'd be quite interested in. It's getting a book on um I don't know, what's 
right term is, like sayings, colloquialisms, is that the right word? From, well, I guess from all different countries, but very much sort of from England, but also from America, maybe Australia, but um, and Canada, I suppose, kind of the English speaking countries in a sense of uh, being able to pronounce the words and know what I'm saying. <laughs> However, an English translation of uh, Chinese sayings or Indian sayings or uh, Russian sayings, yeah, I'm just trying to, there's lots of different countries, isn't there? I think that would be really interesting, yet boring for you, but, you know, to listen to me going through it. But, uh, oh, look here, a poem, it's a noun, a piece of writing in which the words are arranged in short rhythmic lines, often with a rhyme. Doesn't rhythmic mean rhyme? Rhyme, thick. Uh, well, is that is that right though? Because a poem doesn't have to rhyme. They don't have to be in short rhythmic lines either. So yeah, well that's what it says in the dictionary, but. Uh, if you look at there's lots of poems that don't rhyme it's a poet that's a noun what is a noun I have to look up the word noun it's not that I don't know what it is I just want to see what it says it is in here of course I know what all words mean I know what dictionary means Noun. N O U N O U L M N O N O U N E N O U. It doesn't have all the words. Noisy, N O I H I J K L M N O Nominate, nondescript, none. It has none, not as in a um, none, but is in as in none, uh, pronoun. Was I looking for noun or pronoun? Not a single thing or person or not even a small amount of something. Now Andre's running around seeing how much noise he can make. Isn't that weird? R-S-T-U. R-S-T-U. R-S... No, T U. Oh, oh, look, now I found it. The problem with um, dictionaries is it's really helpful if you know the alphabet. What all it says for alphabet? So it says here noun. <laughs> and it, it, hey, do you realise a noun is a noun? A word, Andre's now climbing through his little plastic tube thing. I wonder if he thinks he's being given birth to. A noun, a word which refers to a person, thing, or idea. Well, that's very specific, not. For example, 
uh, president, table, sun and beauty. A person, thing or idea. Oh, okay. So let's look up dictionary. Dictionary. Disinfectant. Dick. Dick, dick, dick. Dick, A, B, dick. Okay, got it, found it. Dictionary. Dictionaries. Noun. That's a that's a noun. So it's a thing. So a noun is a thing. An actual. I suppose it's. But then it's not a thing if it's an idea. Because an idea isn't a thing, is it? Anyway, dictionary. Or dictionaries. Noun. Ah. A book in which words are listed alphabetically and explained or equivalent words are given in another language and underneath that is did you do so I'm going to do that one as well it's a noun as well Andre is sneezing in the background it's a didgeridoo an Australian musical wind instrument made in the shape of a long wooden tube made famous by now let's listen let's, let's not go into that so yeah so it's a didgeridoo uh, what was I going to look at next? Alphabet. Okay. Alphabet. Al. 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 L. M. N. L. M. N. Al. 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 P. P. It's P. H. Isn't it? Al. L. P. P. L. M. N. P. F. G. So many words. Alphabet. Alien. Oh, let's look what that means. What they? What do they give that? An alien. They've even said how to pronounce it. A li an. Okay. It's an adjective. Not normal to you. That's what it says. That's number one. Not normal to you. A total alien culture. That's the adjective. The noun is someone who is not a citizen of the country in which he or she lives. And number three, in science fiction, an alien is a creature from out of space. And there's another one. Let's have a look at this one before we go to alphabet. Actually, I want to go to adjective, find out what that is. Before we go there, let's look at alimony. It's spelling it out as well. I don't think anybody that pays alimony needs to know how to pronounce it. But it's telling me anyway. It says al li mon e Al li mon e In brackets. Stop sneezing please, Andre. Shut up. So alimony is noun so the noun is money someone has to pay regularly to their wife or husband <laughs> um, after they are divorced so I guess that's probably 50-50 isn't it I imagine with today you know everything being equal 
Um, I imagine alimony is paid equally uh, by men and by women. That's it's great that we've got a very uh, equal alimony. Someone has to pay regularly to their wife or husband after they are divorced. Right. Let's have a look at the word stupidity. Stupidity. Oh, where well, is another one? Word lick. It's a verb. If you lick something, you move your tongue over it. That's the verb. Noun. The action of licking. So stupidity. Let's have a look at that. Uh, Stupidity, <laughs> abortion, no, stupidity. Uh, stupid, S, 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 T. A synod, what's a synod? A synod, S, Y, N, O, D, synod, noun, a council of church leaders which meets regularly to discuss religious and moral issues. Ah. So, stupidity. Let's have a look. S-T S-T-U L-M-O-I-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y R-S-T-U Oh, striptease, noun. Striptease is a form of entertainment in which someone takes off their clothes gradually to music. This is a school dictionary. Right, so... Uh, stupidity, stupidity, stupid. Stu swelling, oh, let's have a look at that. Swelling noun, an enlarged <laughs> an enlarged area on your body as a result of injury or illness. Not always due to injury or illness. The swelling of something is an increase in its size. Oh, that's good to know. So, uh, so I'm just going to look. What am I looking for? Stupidity. I don't know why I'm looking for that now. Stupid. It's probably just, you know, the idea of marrying somebody <laughs> in the first place. No, the idea of marrying someone and then having, then you divorce them. You have to pay them money forever. I mean, this isn't child maintenance. This is for them, which well, quite often child maintenance is as well, isn't it? But, wow, we don't have that in England. Luckily, because if we did have, um, we do have marriage, we don't have, I forget what it's called now, but the, you know, the lifetime of maintenance after marriage, we don't have that, otherwise I can't imagine many people would actually get married. Can you imagine? I got married and I'd have to give half of Andre away. I'd have to give half of this table away. <sighs> so suck, okay. If you suck something, you hold it in your mouth and pull at it 
with your cheeks and tongue, usually to get liquid out of it. Number two, to suck something in a particular direction means to draw it there with a powerful force. Suck up verb, informal in brackets, to suck up to someone means to do things to please them in order to obtain praise or approval. I'm going to go to adjective because I can't even bother to keep looking. Oh, armpit. Okay. Armpit, noun. The area under your arm where your arms join your shoulders. Okay. What am I looking for? App. App. Oh. Ab, 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 something, isn't it? Aborigine? No. Oh, it should use in this dictionary a noun, objective, ab, ab, b, 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 objective, abja, abja, ab, Object, but no objective. Objective or ab objective? Objective. Um. Oh. Oh. That's weird. Adjective, isn't it? It's not A B. It's A D. What are you on about? It's A D. So abject is means objective very bad. Abject failure. Abjectly adverb. But then above that, just directly above that is the word ability. Abilities noun. The intelligence or skill needed to do something the ability to get on with others put as an example huh. abbreviate verb to abbreviate something is to make it shorter so verb let's look up verb I hope this isn't too boring for you, although that is the point of everything I do, is to be boring, boring, boring. Verb, let's have a look that up. So I hope you're all okay and, you know, you're having a, a good weekend or day or whenever you're listening to this. I've just recently turned 49 last week. Yeah, six days ago. And at the moment, I'm in the process of transcribing my life's work so far. So I'm transcribing my audios, my podcasts. And it's... Uh, there's two processes to it. There's the transcribing the audio to text and then to edit the text into like the correct, you know, correcting the words, spelling and um, making that all, you know, readable. Um, that second part is something that I've started but then kind of put it off. But I have transcribed... Uh, lots and lots of my recordings over the week and I, I made a mistake and I did 50 or probably about 40 of the wrong ones that I'd already done so I had to and part of the reason for that is because I had 
so many different pages open and I was doing different things all at the same time. So now I'm just going to try and stick to one thing at a time. So I'm going to transcribe them first, get them the first part of the transcribing process for uh, quite a few of them and then I'll start on the actual the meaty part of the job it's not really meaty but you know the, the actual I wish someone else could do it for me I don't want to do it so a verb okay what How is a verb a noun does that mean a noun's a verb Okay, so it says English. In grammar, a verb is a word that expresses actions and states, for example, be, become, take, and run. Expresses actions and states. Now, be, be, just the word be, that's not an action. It's not a state either, is it, really? Become. I suppose it's a process. You become um, green. Or you become more flexible or you become a flower pot or whatever it's a transformational thing take is a physical act isn't it kind of I guess you you take something it doesn't have to be a physical act I mean you can take let's say the flower pot off my head or you can take something from the conversation that you've had as in maybe an idea or a memory or a, uh, a new outlook, I suppose. And run, that's definitely an action, isn't it? Run. Hmm. So you've got a verb adjective yes yeah, so I'll look at adjective because I looked I put in the wrong word and I said add adjective add add so I want to just I'm just going to flick it and see if it and see whatever it comes up next see I, I'm going to say please Mr. Dictionary describe me Let's see what comes up oh Brilliant. Adjective. A brilliant light or colour is extremely bright. Two. A brilliant person is extremely clever. Three. A brilliant career is extremely successful. Brilliantly. Adverb. Brilliance. Noun. Broaden, broaden. When something broadens, it becomes wider. His smile broadened. To broaden something means to cause it to involve more things or concern more people. We must broaden the scope of this job. And broadly, what's that? It's an adverb. True to a large extent, or in most cases. There are broadly two schools of thought on this. Hmm. 
It's an adjective. Blubber. Oh, wow, that's a, I like that word, blubber. Bounti oh, bountiful. What does that mean? Bountiful. Adjective. Literary. In brackets. Freely available in large amounts. A bountiful harvest. Elimino Picurus to you. If it's got B U Oh no, it doesn't have that word. So I'm just trying to think, you've got burst, berry, bus, bush, or bush, what does it say about bush? Noun, a thick plant with many stems, <laughs> don't even know what that's funny, a thick plant, they're very thick, very thick plant with many stems branching out from ground level and number two in Australia and South Africa an area of land in its natural state outside of city areas is called the bush number three in New Zealand the bush is land covered with rainforest. So it's going down. I'm just going to go through the BUS busker. Now, someone who plays music or sings for money in public places. Also needs needs a bath. No, that's all. I believe it said that. Bust. Busts. Busting. Bust or busted. Noun. So one, a statue of someone's head and shoulders. Uh, a bust of sh a, a bust of Beethoven. As an example. Number two, a woman's bust is her chest and her Rest. Oh, that's made me all go all funny. I didn't expect that. This is a school dictionary. Okay. Um, verb three informal. If you bust something, you break it. Okay. Well, that would be more slang, but adjective informal. If a business goes bust, it becomes bankrupt and closes down. Right, what does it say for buttocks? Plural noun. Well, not another one. Plural. Plural, does that mean two, doesn't it? Your buttocks are the part of your body that you sit on. So let's see what plural means. Plu, plu, plural. Plural noun, English. The form of a word that is used to refer to two or more people or things. For example, the plural of chairs, no, the plural of chair is chairs, and the plural of mouse is mouses. So, oh no, mice. So, pluralism, pluralism, noun, pluralism is the belief that it is possible 
for different social and religious groups to live together peacefully while keeping their own beliefs and traditions. Hmm. So, what was I going to look for? Plural. Oh, adjective. I need to go to adjective. A exotic. Andre was, I was told that Andre is an exotic pet. And I said, no, he is an exotic son. It's not a pet, he's a son. It's my son. Exotic adjective one, attractive or interesting through being unusual. Exotic fabrics, as an example. Number two, coming from a foreign country, exotic plants. Uh, so look at this, expensive, an adjective. Something that is expensive is very wide or extends over a very large area. It gives an example, the expansive countryside. Number two, someone who is expensive is friendly, open or talkative. Hmm. I've never heard that before. Expensive. Someone who is expensive is friendly, open, or talkative. I suppose I kind of understand in a sense of would you like to expand on that? Um, and someone to us is. I suppose that if someone's going to expand on what they're saying, I suppose that would mean that maybe they are talkative and they're open. And I suppose in order to be open, friendliness would be one of those uh, requisites for that particular personality trait, I guess. I don't know. So let's have a look at the word expand. It's a verb. If something expands or you expand it, it becomes larger in number or size. Two, if you expand on something, which is what I was referring to just a few seconds ago, if you expand on something, you give more details about it. And they're giving an example here. The minister's speech expanded on the aims which he outlined last month. So I suppose in some ways, um, from um, yeah, in these recordings, I could probably be classed as expensive. I'd rather be expensive, but no expensive. So I do expand, I do um, give more details that is very much more than it's necessary a lot of the time I would say I'm open and uh, clearly rather talkative during the podcast because I kind of have to be really you know if you just listen to empty 
sound, nothing. It'd be like going to a restaurant and having a just a, an empty plate. It'd be nothing like going into a restaurant, but you know what I mean. It'd be adjective. Or expose. Let's have a look and see what it say about expose. It's a verb. To expose something means to uncover it and make it visible. So it's a good thing then, isn't it? To... To expose a person to something dangerous means to put them in a situation in which it might cause them harm. And it says here, exposed to tobacco smoke. Three, to expose a person or situation means to reveal the truth about them. Oh, here's, here's a good one. Exposition. It's a noun. It says English in brackets, so I don't know. I mean, the whole the whole book's English, but so exposition. A detailed explanation of a particular subject. And now I'm thinking of expose. But it's not in here because it's it's not an English word, is it? Expose. Which really just means exposure, doesn't it? Exposing exposure is the exposing of something. Exposure is the harmful effect of the body caused by very cold weather. Hmm. So I suppose I could say that I'm I use exposition. I do give a detailed explanation of a particular subject. Let's have a look at some of these other words. So what was I looking to look for? Ad, adjective. Ad. Bereft. What does bereft mean? Oh, okay. Bereft is an adjective. Literary. In brackets. If you are bereft of something, you no longer have it. The government seems bereft of ideas as an example hmm. I've never heard of this before bevy b-e-v-y bevies noun a group of people a bevy of lawyers. Oh. Barrister. Um, barrister. Uh, ad, ad. Adjective. Ad. Ad. Antelope. Ad. 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 J. Ad. So adverb. Okay, I've got adverb here. So a word that adds information about a verb or a following adjective or other adverb. For example, slowly, now, and here, which say how, when, or where something is done. So, adverb. A word that adds information about a verb. So, verb, add, adds information to the verb, adverb, 
Okay. So let's have a look at the adjective. Add. Add. Ah. Adger. Ad. There's no ad abger adjective. A D J A D J S A D Oh, it's back back further. Adjacent. This sounds really like Jason. Adjective, okay. Let's have a quick drink. There's still a little bit of carpet fur on there when it fell on the floor. I don't like getting carpet in my mouth. Adjective. Noun. English. A word that adds to the description given by a noun. For example, in uh, they live in in a large white Georgian house. Large, white, and Georgian are all adjectives. So, adjective, a word that adds to the description given by a noun. Hmm, oh, okay. See if there's any words that should look up hypnosis. Let's have a look at hypnosis. H H What's H I J K L okay H I It'll be near the end because it's all a Y in it. Hip, hip, hip. Oh, what is here? Hypnosis. And it's telling me how to spell it, which is good. Hip, no, sis. Now, hypnosis is an artificially produced state of relaxation in which the mind is very receptive to suggestion. Let's have a look at the word heal. What does that what does it say? Heal. Verb. If something heals, or if you heal it, it becomes healthy or normal again. My little toe has now healed since I stopped kicking the cat. Oh. Not a good example. Heavenly, heavenly, adjective relating to heaven, a heavenly choir. Two, informal, wonderful, his heavenly blue eyes. What the found? What's all the fixation? Fixation. Noun. An extreme and obsessive interest in something. An opposite. The 
opposite page, and it's just chucked, just jumped out of me. Flatulence. <laughs> Noun. Flatulence is the uncomfortable state of having too much gas in your stomach or intense or intestine. Doesn't have the word F A R F A R far farce farcical fair far east farewell far fetched farm farmhouse Farm yard, fascinate, fascinating, and hmm. I'm sure there's some words missing from that. Far. It's a fantasy. Fantasies is the noun. I thought plural was more than one. Oh, okay. One, an imagined story or situation. Two, fantasy is the activity of imagining things. Or the things that you imagine. And it's given an example here. She can't distinguish between fantasy and reality. Number three, it's got brackets library. In books and films, fantasy is the people or situations which are created in the writer's imagination and do not reflect reality. Talking about reality, yesterday, I didn't get to watch it because I was in bed, but it was on quite early, probably about 10.30 in the morning, The Wizard of Oz was on. And I don't know, I just like it. Oh, let's have a look at this. Jovial, adjective, cheerful and friendly. Jovially. Is it adverb? Joviality is the noun. Joy, noun. Oh, that's a different word. Um, jug. Well, that should be. Oh. Noun. A container with a lip or spout used for holding or serving liquids. Not many under the J. U H I J A U S A L M N H I. Wow. G N G J I. Hmm. 
So you got jingle. Doesn't have jiggle or jiggling. Doesn't have anything like that. A joke. Now, something, what is the number one? Something that you say or do to make people laugh, such as a funny story. Number two, anything that you think is ridiculous and not worthy of respect. Example, the decision was a jerk. Verb number three, if you are joking, you are teasing someone. Hmm. And uh, oh, it's got juggle. Oh no. Wonder what other words. Hmm. There's lots of words here. I feel like I've kind of gone through most of them. There's only it's not even 600 pages. So that can't be all the words in the world, can it? So I need to get a bigger dictionary. And I'm thinking of maybe getting some encyclopedias. So I can read those to you. And we can enjoy. Enjoy that. I wonder what it says about ferrets. Ferrets, A, B, C, D, E, F, 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 E, R, F, E, R, ferret. Right, noun, a small, fierce animal related to the weasel and kept for hunting rats and rabbits. That's how Andre made a funny noise just then. Basically, what he was saying is, I ain't hunting nothing for no one. If you try and force me to try and hunt things, you'll find out how fierce I really am. Rawr. Oh, he's not fierce, he's lovely. A moustache. Moustache. It pronounces it. It's a noun. A man's moustache is hair growing on his upper lip. There's just so many different things to read about. Brilliant. I can't wait till the next time I get to read out that school dictionary. So thank you very much for partaking in this uh, thing that we've just done. And I will speak to you another time. And that's it really. So take care. Remember to be kind to yourself. Lots of love. Bye.